So I've never been robbed in like the traditional sense, but I think that's the closest I've ever come to feeling like I've been robbed. $35. USD, US dollars. I think I've just found America's most expensive grocery store because here you can get water for $7, an avocado, $4, chicken, $13.50, bone broth, $16, a dozen eggs, $12, rotisserie chicken, $19, and maple syrup, $37. So are these prices justified because it's organic and high quality? Or is this a total scam? Erewhon has seven locations now around LA. It's been expanding in recent years. Everything's gourmet or organic, so it's worth it. It prides itself on exceptional organic products and healthier communities. And those products include pistachios for $20 and a $50 bottle of G. This store is pristine and the prices make Whole Foods look like a Walmart. Okay, I know that food varies and it can be organic or come from the mountains of New Zealand. So maybe it's not the most shocking that some of these items do exist. But what is crazy to me is that there is a demand for these kinds of items. Like $12 for eggs. So a dollar an egg. Then $7 for water. And sure, inflation has hit a 40 year high in the US recently. So groceries have come up around 10% in price. But some of these things just seem like next level. Prices you wouldn't even see in New York City. One thing I notice is that most people here though just come for the hot food station to grab some food to go. Maybe they'll pick up an item or two while they're here, but it's really rare to see anyone doing their normal grocery shopping here and filling up a cart. After all, who can actually afford that? I end up buying three items, a bottle of water, a dozen eggs, and this box of spinach with berries on top. It cost me $35. And just when I think maybe we can give this store the benefit of the doubt, because you know, it's organic and probably supporting high quality farming, I consider this. A normal box of spinach here is about $8. Mine was $15 because they added berries to the top of it. Them doing this did two things. It made this product a lot more appealing and visual to a customer while simultaneously adding weight to justify an additional $7. This really is not a good feeling at all. Like not even for the video. I'm sitting down now. I'm gonna try the seven and a half dollar water. So this water comes from New Zealand. They say the process is completely carbon neutral and it's meant to be drank with fine food. So is this just good business or a total scam? Tell me what you think in the comments. The experience of actually going into this store was crazy. I mean, this makes Whole Foods seem like a Walmart. That's how expensive this is. What was really interesting is at the end, she told me that you can apply for a membership and if you pay $200 a year, then you get 10% off your groceries, which you never hear about grocery stores doing. You don't hear about that. Also, she told me that her employee discount is 20% off. So anything she buys in the store, she gets 20% off. But consider this, grocery stores usually have very slim margins. I'm talking between one and 3% off of every product. So the fact that they can give their employees 20% off means that the markup here is super high. I get that the products are higher quality and organic and yada, 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 but the markup here is insane. One more thing I noticed is that most people are not doing like traditional shopping here. It's very rare to see people with a basket. In fact, they don't even have shopping carts because to have shopping carts would literally rob someone's bank account. So they just do baskets and most people don't even need a basket. Most people are literally just getting one, two, maybe three items. Um, and there were a lot of people going to get fresh food here. Um, it's not really the kind of place that you get a lot of your groceries from because let's face it, you would be broke if you did. But the fact that this place is expanding more and more and more and there's a demand for it is super interesting to me. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Would you shop here?